I'm Joshua Bardwell, and I could not be more excited about what you're going to learn today. I'm releasing a product. People have been asking me for a long time, when are you going to release a product? Are you gonna, is it a, a, a flight controller? Is it a quadcopter frame? No, it's the best parallel charging board you ever saw. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but stay tuned anyway. Here's why I am incredibly excited and passionate about parallel charging. And I really am. Uh, it's because mini quad pilots sit in this weird middle ground where we have a lot of small batteries. And parallel charging is the only way to cheaply and quickly charge those batteries. If you have a great big battery, like a big 6S 10 amp hour battery, then what you need is a great big charger to charge it with. And it's easy to make a great big charger, relatively easy. It's actually pretty expensive to make a bunch of small chargers until you get down to the point that we're just like charging tiny watt batteries and then it's cheap again. So if you want to charge a 1300 or a 1500 milliamp hour battery, first of all, you're going to be charging at about a 1C or a 2C charge rate. And that means that for whatever size battery you've got, it's going to take you between about a half hour and an hour to charge it. And so if you go out and you buy an AccuCell 6 for 30 bucks, you can charge one battery in about a half hour to an hour. And if you have 10 batteries, well, you do the math on how long it's gonna take you to charge them all. Now you could go out, you could buy a bunch of AccuCell 6s and at 30 bucks a pop, that's gonna add up pretty quick, but you certainly could do that. And then you got this mess of chargers that you can push in buttons like you're playing the freaking piano, right? With parallel charging, you plug all the batteries into the parallel charge board and all of your little batteries suddenly become one great big battery. And then all you need, like I said before, is one great big charger to push the current into it and they all charge up. And here's the beautiful thing. It still takes about a half hour to an hour. That's right. Because you're always charging at a 1C or a 2C rate, if you're being safe anyway, no matter how big your battery is, you'll always finish charging in about the same amount of time. And that means that the bigger your battery gets, the faster you can charge safely. And that's why parallel charging is so good. It turns all your little batteries into one big battery that you can safely charge at the same time. But parallel charging boards have a lot of problems. Now, we all know that parallel charging is dangerous if not done correctly. I'll tell you a little story. I know a person who parallel charges and never balances. He never plugs in his balance. I don't know, you tell me, I don't know why. And one day he threw his batteries and his charger on, on top of his engine, plugged it into his battery on his truck, started charging and walked over to the flight line to start flying. And a little while later, someone came up and said, hey, uh, somebody's truck's on fire over there. I'm not making this story up. This literally happened. Parallel charging is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. But if you do know what you're doing, it's, it's reasonably safe and effective. But you can still make mistakes. One of the biggest things that I don't like about, hold on, let me get one. One of the biggest things that I don't like about the parallel charge boards that I currently use is that they've got all these balance connectors on there. And the theory is that if you want to charge a 6S or a 3S or a 4S, you can charge them all up together. But you're not allowed to mix different voltages on a balance board. That's how you get fires. So if you've got a 2S plugged in for some reason and you got another 2S and another 2S and then you accidentally grab a 3S and plug it in, well, I say, you know, you're gonna get a fire or you're gonna get some sparks at the very least. And I, I also can't tell you how many times, not, not a lot, but more than you'd hope, I've been plugging in my 4S batteries and I accidentally almost plug it into the 5S port and some sparks come out and sometimes you burn a trace on the board and that's bad. And then the final thing is, look at all the space that's wasted here. I don't know about you, well, I don't have a whole lot of 3S, 2S, 5S, or 6S batteries. I got like 30 freaking 4S batteries though, so maybe I don't need a balance board that's got all this junk on it, right? And that brings us to the product that I'm announcing. This is the Strix 4S Parallel Charging Board Joshua Bardwell edition. There's my initials right there. I'm so, I'm practically giddy. I'm so glad about this. Uh, I brought this idea to ReadyMade RC and thankfully they saw some wisdom in it and decided to make it because this is a product that I've wished existed for a long time, but there's just no way I could ever make it myself. 
Because we got rid of all those stupid balance ports that you're not freaking using anyway, we can get 10 batteries on this board. And that means fewer connectors and daisy chaining and all that nonsense. Most, most common ones have between four and six ports. We have 10. Each of these is fused. We have an automotive blade fuse here. These are 15 amps. That's 15 amps for each of the XT60s, not the board as a whole. And that means that if any battery shorts or if, God forbid, you plug a 5S in by accident, boom, the fuse is going to pop. Now, here's something you may not know about other balance boards. They, some of them have fuses, but the fuses, and most of them, every one I've seen, I'm not going to say all of them everywhere, they're soldered on. They're not in a fuse holder. And if you pop that fuse, you got to, I don't know, desolder it and solder it back on. I don't how what a hat. These are in fuse holders. So if you pop a fuse, just pull it out and put a new one in, you're good to go. It also has a little monitor here, and this is going to give you the voltage on the board. So before you plug your batteries in, you can plug them in one at a time, not all at once, and you can check the voltage on each of them to make sure it's within a safe range. And if you want to hear more about safe balance charging, I've got another video. I'll put a link in the upper right that you can go watch that. Definitely, it's very safe as long as you know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you'll burn your house down. That's not a joke. So be safe about this and then you'll be fine. It's got a XT60 here for if you have like an ISDT style charger that takes an XT60, or it's got an adapter, it comes with the adapter, and it goes to banana plugs if you've got a charger like a reactor that takes banana plugs, so you're good to go either way. The one feature that I really wanted in this board that I didn't quite get, we just weren't able to make it work, was a dedicated port for daisy chaining. So we would have, ideally I would love to have had one more XT60 here for daisy chaining. There just wasn't room for it. But the, the response was, well look, just daisy chain off of any one of these. If you decide to do that, you'll need to increase the size of the fuse for the one that you're daisy chaining off of because you're gonna need that fuse to support the whole voltage or the whole current of the other board. But that's not too hard. Just get yourself a 30 amp or something uh, fuse and you're good to go. Finally, this comes with a 4S balance lead and you're gonna plug that in here and then the other end's gonna get plugged into your charger. Uh, some chargers won't be able to, most chargers come with a 6S balance plug and what I really wanted to do was have it come with a 4S to 6S plug so you could just plug it in. For various reasons, we weren't able to get that done. I hope, hopefully that'll change at some point in the future. But for now, you can either just try and kind of jam it in to the, to the 6S plug. Or if you've already got a balance board of some kind, you can just, you can daisy chain off of that. Or you could probably find, like, a, just buy yourself a 6S balance plug and remove two of the wires. Anyway, there you go. The final thing to mention about the board is the price. It is $24. Now, $24 is a little bit more than other balance boards are asking, unless you're looking at like that ISDT aluminum boxed balance board with four ports for $35. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, you typically find the really cheap ones with no fuses or anything like that running about $15, bucks, and then some of the ones with four ports and fuses running about 20 bucks. So 25 bucks for one with 10 ports and removable fuses and a built-in voltage checker that's pretty good. I mean, if you're into parallel charging like I am, this is the one. This is just the one. Unless you do 6S and 3S and 2S. And in that case, maybe, well, maybe someday we'll come out with those. But for now, 4S is what we're doing. If you're eager to buy this board right now, I want to let you know I have a referral link in the video description. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you would go ahead and use that. Although, frankly, just the fact that this board exists is all the reward I really know. I'd like your money. <laughs> And the other thing is, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions for improvements, leave them down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Happy flying.